This exercise is called neck gnar. It's a technique to work on this thoracic outlet area. So it's actually going to be working on mobilizing the first rib and addressing the pleural dome, the pleural ligaments and the scalenes and then all the stuff in that space. So you're gonna need a yoga tune-up ball. I like the regular size for my size body. You can also use the plus size and a yoga block. <clears throat> if you don't have a yoga block, you can do it in like the a door jam, like a corner of a wall. Uh, you'll just need a spot where you can put your head along the side and still get the ball in this area here. So what you do is place the block against the wall a little bit lower than your shoulder. You're going to place the ball in that spot and then come and push, use the block to help sort of inferior glide that space. So once you're in there, you can square your body up. There we go. And then once you're in there, you can move your head around all the ranges of motion, circles, or just repetitively paying attention to how it feels. And I like as you know to go in the direction of ease first and then go into a direct stretch. You can add in the shoulder flexion and you can add in on the breath. When you inhale, you'll feel all the structures come up into the ball. So then as you exhale, it's an opportunity to create more inferior glide in the area. After you do a few breaths like that, you can recheck the ranges of motion recheck just the postural position. You might start to notice things relax, relax and your shoulder drops down a little bit. I'll go ahead and demo the other side so you can see just a different angle. So the ball on the wall, I like to place the ball in the spot first and then aim it onto that block and then lean into it. Once I'm in a good spot, then I'll start with the head and neck movement exploration. Then add in shoulder flexion. And then add in breaths. After a couple of those, come off the wall and recheck everything. Posture, breath, Neck range of motion, jaw range of motion, shoulder flexion are all great things to look at. That's neck and arm.